Hey, what's going on guys? Archer and Mark here. I'm back with another Star Wars action figure review. And I got a really nice piece to show you for today. Um, a little while back, if you saw my Target haul video, you saw this item and another item that I picked up. And that'll be my next review. So if you saw that video, you know what the, the next review will be. But first things first, we're going to start with this very nice piece here. And it is one of the Target exclusive uh, action figure sets. Very nice set. You get three figures, as you can see. Uh, the Sand People or Tusken Raider. Uh, the Boba Fett. And we have Snaggletooth. Three very good figures. Uh, we will show you a little more in depth in a moment. First, of course, we will show you the packaging. So you have the great classic A New Hope logo. Star Wars uh, with Luke and Leia there, uh, ages four and up, warning choking hazards. He says, special action figure set, and it is the villain set. Uh, have This band of evil enforcers tries to crush the rebellion against the Galactic Empire. And again, you have the character names, uh, the Sand People, Boba Fett, and Snaggletooth. And we'll go down... And you see, we pan across, so you have the Kenner logo and the only at Target uh, sticker. Uh, on the side here, same images on the top. Now these sets, as, as I just mentioned, are Target exclusive. They are very much like with the Vintage Collection. They are uh, reminiscent, a throwback to the old original vintage toys back from the 70s and 80s which they did this as well they did these these three packs they took figures and they repacked them and it was just a way and even back then i'm not totally positive about this but even back then i believe they were exclusive to a certain store uh, i don't want to say for sure because i'm not positive of which store so i don't want to uh, say it and say the wrong store. But here you see the other packs. So you have the Android set, which has C-3PO, R2-T2, and Chewbacca, which is a weird choice for the Android set. I haven't seen this one. Another set that I have seen, which I definitely would like to pick up, is the this droid set with the Power Droid and Death Star Droid and the R5-D4. Uh, of course, we have this set here that we're doing so we'll read this little description uh boba fett a fearsome intergalactic bounty hunter poses a threat to any member of the rebel alliance sand people a tribe of desert nomads survive by robbing innocent travelers like luke snaggletooth is an alien creature seen by luke and ben lurking in the cantina so very cool very reminiscent like i said of the 70s and 80s you know, and again, like I said, back then they reissued figures as well, just as it's done now. And it was a nice way of doing, you know, three, taking three figures and you can get, you buy one item and get three figures all at the same time. Uh, now, interesting, I actually have two of these figures already. The Snaggletooth, which is new to this set. It's a brand new figure as far as I know. It's the only figure that I don't have uh, there's reasons why I bought this set and not the droid set and I'm going to get into that um, so we'll start with the sand people which uh, a while back this is the same figure that was released back as a Walmart exclusive as part of the discover the force line and this is a great figure and that itself was a reissue from a couple years back as well I believe but this is it's a great figure here you can see the detail on his bandoliers and all his inner robes and belts and the breathing mask and the head with the head skull everything uh, i love the robes uh the the soft goods robes the cloth robes the material it's very kind of worn beaded kind of faded looking material it's the kind of thing that you would expect you know uh a desert nomad type creature like this to wear. Very nice. So again, 
Uh, if you were to go back on my channel, there's a more in-depth review uh, of this figure when I got it the first time. Uh, so this is one of the reasons I wanted to get this set because I like this figure so much and I wanted to have another one of these sand people. You know, a bunch of sand people on a display looks very good. And this is one of the best, probably the best sand people uh, figure that's been done. There's only one problem which I'll get into in a moment. Um, okay. In fact, that is the one point of the articulation, which I mentioned in the original review. We'll mention again real quick. Uh, ball joint the neck, ball and shoulders. There's a swivel elbows, which is the one bad point. Swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball and knees, ball and ankles. Um, so yeah, the only way to make this figure better would be uh, if you had ball hinged elbows. I'm never a fan of the swivel, the swivel elbows. I'm glad that they don't use that anymore. Again, this is sort of an older figure. It's been reissued a couple times, but it's a great figure. So definitely worth having this pack for another one of those. Uh, his weapons is he has this blaster rifle, just like we saw in the original release. Very well painted, sculpted, very nice apps, very nicely done. And you have the the gaffy stick. Okay. Again, very nicely molded and painted. Now on to the Boba Fett, which didn't really need this figure. I don't, you know, don't really need another Boba Fett, but it's Boba Fett. And again, uh, if you were to do a search on my channel and just search Boba Fett, you'll come up with a video uh, that has a review of this figure. I kind of, in fact, I went back to check on some things and that video is like a year old and can really see the difference between then, a year ago, and now. I'm definitely better. I definitely have made some improvements in doing my reviews. Uh, in fact, I did this as like a combo review. I reviewed this and a Clone Wars Boba Fett all in the same video. I'm not sure why I decided to put them together for some I did for some reason, but anyway. But this is a magnificent figure. If you didn't get the vintage collection figure, uh, it's absolutely worth having. There's so much great details, all the little dents and scratches, the you know, the weathering on his armor. Uh, very nice. Jetpack, all the little emblems, the Wookiee scalps, um, the cloth um, cape here with all the frame, the little holes. And it's a very nice figure. And here is something interesting. Uh, a couple of mistakes that I made on that old review, which I can remedy this time around. I said in that review that the blaster was not removable. And in fact, I went back, I got that figure, I'm going to take it out, and there it is. It was just very tight, and I thought that you could not remove it, but it is removable on the Vintage Collection figure. And there you see, so I was not able to show, there you go, uh, a close look of this blaster. It's the same blaster in that original review, because I thought it was not removable. So, interesting, so there you see the holster that it goes slots back in and here you have his more trademark blaster rifle again great details great molding paint apps the weathering on the barrel and just everything it just really looks great uh, as with that uh, this is a removable helmet Boba Fett and basically you get this sort of like clone trooper face sculpt which it's a very nice face sculpt he's got like a scar I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can make that out he's got a scar on that cheek there and again some people didn't like that idea of Boba Fett with a removable helmet and some people do I, I do like it for as a fact but this is definitely a great great figure definitely worth having in the pack now the one figure that again is new as far as I know this is a brand new figure is Snaggletooth and it's not a single card but basically we get a vintage collection Snaggletooth 
And there, it, we've needed a new Snaggletooth for a long time. There's not been one since there was a, like a Cantina band or a Cantina Alien three pack a while back, back in the Power of the Force two days that had a Snaggletooth, and it's it's very it's you know it was okay at the time, but it's that's that was a long time ago. So here we have a great Snaggletooth. Very nice molding on his clothing. He's got this little hump on his back. And, you know, all the cl the clothing folds. His, his little, little outfit. Uh, the one accessory he does have, which is just this black blaster pistol. There you go. Nothing too special. It's your basic kind of Han Solo style blaster. Just all black. There's no paint apps. Which, you know... A little disappointing, but could have been better. But, you know, it'll serve the purpose for, you know, he's a background character. But I really wanted this figure as, like, you know, another character to put in the cantina scene. And look at that face sculpt. Whew. This is one ugly little mutt. But nice little details. You can see there's a little kind of strap here. It's basically kind of part of his belt that he can you could slot the blaster in. It's not really a holster, it's just more kind of a piece that they kind of extend it out. But a nice little figure, and this was one this and the Tuscan Raider were the two reasons I wanted this pack. And like I said, Boba Fett, you know, have the figure ready, but it's Boba Fett, so that justifies it. Uh, this figure, typical Vinge collection articulation. You have bulge on your neck, ball hinge shoulders, bulge elbows, swivel wrists, swivel waist, swivel hips, bulge knees, and bulge ankles. And, oh, before I forget, I, I'll go over the Boba Fett. Again, it's the same. If you have this figure ready, the articulation is the same. Bulge on your neck, which I said a swivel neck in the old review, so there's another mistake. Uh, ball in shoulders, ball in elbows, swivels at the gauntlets, swivel waist, swivel hips, ball in knees, and ball in ankles. So, so again, a great, great figure. Three great figures, really. You know, so this was uh, twenty four ninety nine at Target. So twenty five bucks for three figures. That's not a bad price. It's not the greatest price in the world, but it's it's not bad. When you consider individually, each of these figures would probably go around ten bucks plus plus tax. So we're pretty good here. It's not a bad, not a bad side. Definitely would recommend it. Uh, you know, if you're into the the Cantina Aliens, Snagglefield is a great figure. Uh, the Sand People again. It's great to have more. It's a figure that it's a character. That, you know, it's nice to have more than one. That this is definitely the best. Not the definitive sand people because of the swivel elbows. But it's the best sand people figure that's that's been done. And definitely this is certainly one of the best. It's arguably one of the best Boba Fett figures that's ever been done. So a great set. Three great figures. Definitely worth picking up. So there you go. There's my look. The Target exclusive villain set three pack. Hope you enjoyed this review. And, uh, as usual, comment, rate, subscribe, and until my next review, may the Force be with you.